Up next tonight, a controversy, some questions about something millions of us have at home on the sink, antibacterial soaps and body washes, which claim that they're better than old fashioned soap at stopping the spread of illness. But are they? Tonight, the FDA has issued a kind of challenge. And here's ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser. It's a warning shot to makers of antibacterial soap who claim their products kill more germs. The government now saying they're going to have to prove the soap actually prevents more infections. Some studies say both antibacterial and regular soap work equally well at killing germs right away. Watch go. our unscientific right. test at the University of Maryland. All right, here we go. We covered some hands in a brew of thousands of E. coli bacteria. The hands were then washed with regular soap and antibacterial soap. The antibacterial soap erased 75% of the bacteria. The regular soap, 75% as well. No immediate difference. But the FDA is concerned. Could antibacterial soaps contribute to dangerous antibiotic resistance? Tonight, the trade group representing antibacterial soaps says they are perplexed that the FDA would suggest there's no evidence that antibacterial soaps are beneficial, adding that consumers should continue to have access to the products. You know, this is a big move by the FDA. There have been health and environmental groups calling for this for, for quite some time. And it may mark the beginning of the end for those products that can't meet this benchmark. When will we know the ultimate answer, Rich? Well, you know, assuming the regulation is approved and there are 180 days for that, the companies are going to have a year from today to make their case. If they can't do that, they're going to have to either change their product or change the label. But in the meantime, remember, washing with soap and water for a full 20 seconds is always the best way to go. Always back to basics when you're with Rich Besser. Thank you, Rich, for reporting in from Washington for us tonight.